So today we're picking up a, uh, a giant loaf of bread so we can make the uh, the biggest tear and share garlic bread ever eaten which I realize it's not really in keeping with the Christmas theme right it's not really festive but people have been asking me all year long to do a video with Lindsay where she eats something she actually enjoys and she enjoys nothing more than garlic bread so that's what we're doing today also if you um if you have seen the the charity single before I'm sorry I had to sit through it a second time but um yeah, I'd love to see you. It would really mean a lot to us if you would uh, if you would download the song, because uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I'll be donating any profits made from streams or downloads in the month of December to a charity called the Stroke Association. If you want any more uh, information on that, just watch the last video. I'll put up a card on screen or just check out the uh, the description box below. But yeah, it's only like seventy p or something. So yeah, let's raise some money for charity. Let's get it streaming on repeat till you can't stand it no more. <laughs> Might even. Uh, Crack the top 40, who knows? Anyway, stop loafing around, Mrs. Beard, and <laughs> go get that bread. <laughs> oh, oh dear. These intros just get worse, don't they? Yeah. When they're worse every week. Well, if you want to be scientific, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that is pretty much <laughs> What is this? <laughs> that stuff your dreams are made of. Just one baguette. Give it to me. Just one baguette thief 
for my tea. <laughs> You're like a woman in Japan who just smushes her face into bread products. That could be you. <laughs> that could be your channel. I'm going to stop. Stop. Yeah, go 2D. Should we get rid of the crumbs first? A little bit of OCD about the mess. As you can see. Do you want to get a hoover from the middle part? Hoover? Yeah, and I'll hoover the crumbs up. <laughs> just put them in a bag? <laughs> Who would Hoover a tabletop? <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> later. <laughs> Keep telling you we need a bigger a bigger oven. I just I don't, I don't know how we're gonna get it out and turn it so we can cook this side. Probably need to take it out and flip it because otherwise the middle bit's gonna be overly burnt. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm no chef. Can we get one of these for Christmas Day? All right, here we go. It, it was a pretty arduous task to uh, to cook this, but we did it. This has to be, I'm sure, the biggest tear and share garlic bread ever uh, ever made. So. Uh, I'll put calorie count on the screen if I can. And uh, <laughs> without further ado, this is Baby Sweet and Mrs. Beard. The super team are back together. Yeah! And this is, uh, yeah, the, the biggest garlic bread ever eaten. Probably. Who's gonna eat? Mm. It's true. What's up, Ben Army? Welcome back. There she is. Mrs. Beard has returned. Good. For better or worse. It's pretty good. I think the end pieces, I didn't quite put enough fat. No, I might have, but I can already see the next piece and it's, it's looking buttery. Looks juicy. <sighs> now we're talking. Ooh. That's amazing. <laughs> I'll stay another year. We won't make those sounds when we're having private time. I'll start bringing a garlic baguette with me to bed. <laughs> I can't compete with garlic bread. Yeah, but who can? That, ladies and gentlemen, is what they call in the industry an overshare. <laughs> Obviously, just trying to get all the lewd comments out of the way before the new year. New Year's resolution is to cut back a little. Not too much like. I mean, life isn't worth living without innuendos. <laughs> Look, I'll take care of the debris now. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll have another glass of H2O, please, darling. Oh. Don't tell me you're starting to feel full already. The garlic is very strong in my mouth. Oh, straight into the excuses playbook already. She must have found that one somewhere at the back. That, that's a bad one. <laughs> Only Mrs. Beard could complain about my garlic bread being too garlicky. Typical. Look at that, she's barely eating anything. Still, I can't really blame her. This was a pretty wide loaf. And I'm not entirely sure I got the, the garlic butter distribution perfectly even. Cut pulling in the big guns. Yeah, well, these are the big guns. This is, um, what? <laughs> oh, that's... Is it garlic? I've met, I've been out drinking with some of the best competitive eaters on the planet, right? And I don't know one, one single one of them that can burp like that. You should go to that to have a burping championship. So you, sh I, you should definitely go to that. I'm not embarrassed people. <laughs> I've got a little secret weapon here. Got some marinara sauce. So um, I can dip the, the garlic bread in there, which is gonna help. Oh yeah, and uh, help it certainly did. God bless Tomio. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the song at the beginning of the video, whether this is the, the first time you heard it or you heard it a few days ago. I really wanted to do that again this year because we got such an overwhelming response last year to the little parody jingle we did called Don't You Want Some Gravy? That I thought, you know, 2020 has been such a stinko year. Let's do a full production, go the whole hog, give people a cheap giggle this Christmas. So yeah, hope you liked it. I've got to say, before 
a self-professed garlic bread. <laughs> what I was going to say is, for a, a self-professed garlic bread fan, this is a, you are doing absolutely atrociously bad now. I mean, it's so filling. Like, it is just so thick. And you're, you're a pro. I've done quite well. It was to the end of her. Yeah, you can see as well now how, how my end is short of garlic butter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 stomach. Oh. All right, let's let's polish this thing off. Come on, gotta dig deep. Love one more. What? Can you need it? Just having a two-second break. <laughs> Yeah, anyone that's ever done a food challenge knows that when somebody says they're taking a break, they are spent. They're done. <laughs> She's not coming back. I've seen you eat more garlic bread than this for breakfast. This is so thick and dense and rich. Well, as you can hear, it's still crusty. A little too crusty, actually. In fact, it dawns on me at this point, I haven't really explained how good the garlic bread was. You know what, to begin with? It was pretty good. I, the, the garlic butter didn't really seep as deep as I would have liked into the, you know, the crevices and stuff. But I, I think it tasted pretty good. <clears throat> you can kind of see there what I'm talking about. The, the, the bottom of it looks a little white. It probably could have used a little more cheese too. But on the whole, I'd give it a, I don't know, a 6 out of 10. How could you sell me out so bad? You can do it. I didn't have particularly lofty aspirations for you, but I thought you would get through, I don't know, like 20% 20, 20 maybe? You, 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 you've eaten probably like 7%. I actually think I've eaten 12%. I'm keeping going anyway, I've not given up. Slow and steady wins the rest. Oh man, I don't know where she's bringing these quips from. By the way, that is one of my most hated allegories of all time, the tortoise and the hare. Doesn't teach you anything. Teaches you if, if you're slow, you can still win, which is never the case. There you go. <sighs> you are my hero. You may be a very nice garlic bread. And you barely eaten any of it? I've eaten 12% of it, as we've established previously. <sighs> I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting upset now. I think Mrs. Beer needs to go back to school, study fractions and percentages again. There's no way she's eating 12%. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh no. At least I didn't save my crusty end for you. <laughs> I cannot believe, looking at this right now, there is no chance if, this, if we were just sat upstairs watching, I don't know, some Tom Hardy movie that you want to watch, and you have this amount of garlic bread on the plate, I do not believe that you would not finish it. I just feel so heavy. <laughs> if you can do that, if you can pull that kind of maneuver, you're nowhere near full. Uh. Yeah, take that from the, the essential guide to competitive eating, if you can perform the can can or like a half can can, <laughs> then you are, you know, you're, you're not at stomach capacity. So, um, she pulled a fast one here. <laughs> I tell you, the bloat from this is gonna be on a different level, this much bread. Yeah, you know, contrary to popular belief, bread is actually pretty easy to eat compared to a lot of things. The real problem comes afterwards when you sat on the sofa and you just start to swell up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you at the next one. That was the biggest betrayal in YouTube history. Right, this this is Beer Meets Food, and that was the biggest, what do I call it? Tear and share. Tear and don't really share. Garlic bread. Ever eat. I mean, yeah, well done. How long did it take us? 
44 minutes. It would have been significantly longer without me, darling. Just so you know. Well, I'm speechless. <sighs> Teamwork. <laughs> 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 Don't you dare throw up. It's not how we do stuff over on this oh. channel. We'll catch you next time. You run his throat. <laughs> we recording. <laughs> it's going in the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>